Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number six of the UBL and we are up against Choice Specs and his Orlando Magic Harp. And uh, we are pretty much once again in a situation where it's pretty much win out and we're in, but it's going to be a tough one. So, okay, here we see the Pelipper, Dreadnaw, Como, -O, Clefable, Poltegeist, and Arcanine. So I'm going to screenshot this team, but right away... I am honestly pretty relieved to see no Meowstic because I do not have an I hard read him not to not to want to bring Meowstic, so I didn't so my Cinderace did not speed creep because it would have to be Jolly and it's it's a whole big thing. But No Ludicolo is actually really interesting to me. No Ludicolo is really, really interesting to me. Um No Gudra is kind of wild to me. Um hmm. I could definitely want to see him leading off with with Arcanine here. Especially if I want to lead off with something like the Cinderace. I kind of want to lead off with with um, Rotom, but Rotom is so important in case uh, this Dreadnought gets out of control. I kind of... Mm. Honestly, okay, I think... Silvali makes as much sense as anything else as a solid lead here. I can parting shot on pretty much anything that he would want to lead off with. And I have a Silvali Dragon. It was primarily meant to handle the, the Ludicolo, which I feel silly about now. I definitely would have been better off probably with a Silvali um, Grass, which was also originally for the Ludicolo. But I don't know. Maybe I would have been better off doing something else here. I like Dragon. I think Dragon suits the team well, but does lead off with a Coma O. Now, I do, I definitely do not guarantee I outspeed this Coma O. Um, I'm actually a pretty slow Savali Dragon. I'm actually a pretty slow Savali Dragon. I would not be surprised. Mm, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if this thing wants to. I, I have seen him like belly drum right off the bat, but he does have to reasonably fear a multi attack here. Yeah, I don't think he can really mess around with, with multi-attack um, rolls here. So I think I'm pretty safe just to click Parting Shot. Even though, again, this Koma O can definitely set up turn 1. Uh, he, he, I, I have seen him set up um, uh, in the past pretty much turn 1. And uh, there's the sub. Okay, that's really problematic. That's actually pretty bad for me. But what I think I'm going to have to do... Oh my god. I did not even think about that. Okay. Now, here's the thing. If this thing is Belly Drum... I can multi-attack here. If this thing is Belly Drum, then I can give up my Coma O. And... As long as I le leave this thing not behind a sub... Then my Togekiss should be able to come in and always KO here. So, I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. But, um... Yeah, sound... <sighs> Multi attack, uh, parting shot into a soundproof Como o was pretty silly of me, but I don't think, yeah, this thing wasn't Salic Berry, and even if it was Salic, well, no, if it was Salic Berry, then I'd be in trouble. But no, I, I'm pretty sure that even if this thing does have to go down, man, I could try to call some some kind of a switch here. But what do I really need Silvali for? I mean, getting a Thunderbolt off on the Pelipper would be huge. But no, I think I think I'm fine. I don't think I I don't think I saw any type of sa Salic Bear or anything like that. She's gonna Drain Punch me and get a whole bunch of HP back. But I that is a lot. That is more HP than I would have thought. But um, I don't think I don't think he got off any type of any type of yeah he's out of air slash range which is super problematic so i would do this he didn't get a salad bear right yeah okay so dazzling gleam dazzling gleam here should be a guaranteed ko unless this thing is roselli berry actually i did not consider roselli berry but uh it's not gonna matter it's not roselli berry okay I'm going to have to see what item this was after the match, but that was uh, genuinely really scary. But once again, Scarf Togekiss, um, 
is coming through for me. Togekiss is my KO leader, and I think it's like some it's it's like trailing in the bottom half of the top ten, so, somewhere around there in the overall KO leader. Um, but that's gonna be another KO for my Togekiss, and overall that was a huge huge threat out of the way. Um, although, it was at the cost of my Silvali. Again, I don't think Silvali is going to be the biggest deal in the world. But now I honestly have to be wary of a Pulte guys trying to set up on me. Um, I don't think I prepped enough for a Pulte guys. Uh, but Pulte guys will come in right now. So this thing can definitely shell smash. And... Yeah, that's hugely problematic for me. I think I, I I think I can maybe rely on my Quagsire trying to deal with that, but it's going to be really bad for him because I really did need my Quagsire to kind of hard wall the Arcanine as well. But if I... Yeah, I'm going to have to give it a turn. I might have to give up my Togekiss. If that's the case, and that'd be really pretty bad. <laughs> like, genuinely pretty bad. Let's go for the Shell Smash. Is there anything else that I would want to sack off here? Honestly, I don't think I would mind sacking off... Is it White Herb? I think... Well, no, it's going to have Giga Drain. No White Herb, right? Yeah, no White Herb. But... It's so fast now. Actually, I might be... I should be able to take a hit. No, 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 no. There we go. I should be able to take a hit, and if its defenses are down, I think, theoretically, I should be able to take Stored Power. Do I take that? Oh my god, we barely take that. Oh my god, Dazzling Gleam is going to... Oh my god. Okay, this is... I don't like at all how, how stressful this match has been, but we... Oh my god. Every bit of bulk mattered there. So, I guess we can run Calcs. I mean, I'm going to assume that this thing is like max... The, the default set is just max special attack timid. So, if it has... If it has a plus six... Well, no. If it has... A plus two special attack... Okay, I actually think that never killed me. I think that it was actually modest. I think that was actually modest. The highest possible roll should be 170 HP. And my HP is 173. Okay, so... Yeah, I think it, I think actually if it was modest, that would have KO'd me. But this thing is in here. And I think definitely this thing is, is still useful for a lot of this match. And I think... I can wall it a bit with my with my Quagsire here. Goes for the extreme speed. Again, I do not like how stressful this matchup is, especially when this is uh, pretty close to a must win. Uh, I can just get off a of toxic here. I think that's probably. Wait, what is this set? Did I? Oh, I put on Sludge Wave for. I think it was... Whatever, it, it doesn't matter. I'm going to click Toxic anyway. I think that Sludge Wave was for Ludicolo. That's it. But... Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. The Sludge Wave is for Clefable. It's for Clefable, definitely. Um, And the Clefable comes in right now. So now um, it's going to be super important to see if this thing is Magic Guard or Unaware. I think Unaware is a little bit better against me, but I'm not a thousand percent sure. Um, oh, it looks to be magic art. Okay. I mean, I could definitely see it. I don't, um, yeah, this thing is magic art. So I really want to just gauge damage here. This thing could just set up rocks, which would be pretty problematic for me as well. And it honestly makes me want to no, I, I could honestly just make this play. I think rocks feel so much better for for um cosmic power. Okay, 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 okay. But this thing is magic guard, so 
Uh, this is going to be a straight up just scarfed, scarfed uh, flash cannon, like max special attack, modest. But I am super curious. So, th so this is just a full setup team, pretty much. But if this thing is max special defense, then flash cannon should always just be a two a KO here. Flash cannon should, well, not anymore because of the cosmic power boost. But if if it's say max defensive, then with a plus one. Uh, yeah, it should it should still be a 2 KO technically, but, um, my Flash Cannons would be able to outpace the... That's withdraw. Okay, okay. That's important, because uh, I'm really not trying to... Even, even if you could say that, that that he called me out with his Pelipper play, I really don't mind in the situation. Um... He's really not making this easy on me. I have to, I have to play this out remarkably well. So, I think this is a solid all-around play here. No, I think... Mm, I really don't want this thing taking damage, though. But the Volt Switch opportunity is super duper just tempting here. I'm still super curious as to what that Koma O item was. Maybe it was, maybe it was meant to be Salak, and uh, he missed it. Tailwind, okay. That's definitely not problematic, or not not problematic, I should say. But like I was saying, Volt Switch is as tempting as anything else here. I don't know. I could definitely see him wanting to go for the Hurricane. Ugh, that is a lot of damage. That was a crit. Mm, that's mm. as far as not good things go. That's pretty not good. But. It's going to allow him to very freely go into... It's going to allow him to very freely go into the... Into the, um... Dreadnought. But... This thing is always a solid answer to Dreadnought. This thing is a solid answer to the rest of the... Of his team outside of the Clefable. The Clefable is super problematic for me. But... How do I play this? I think I have to wait out wait out this tailwind here. I think I have to wait out this tailwind here. And the thing is, I don't think I mean I'd be amazed if he has a super fast Clefable. And it he, he definitely could, but I'd be surprised. Personally. And, and I think he has to go into Clefable now, because giving me rain a scalding rain doesn't seem the best for Arcanine or for the Dreadnought. But having to wait out the Tailwind is really bad. It's actually pretty bad. So this thing comes in. I have to switch out into something. I can go for... Yeah. Yeah, no. This makes the most sense because... This makes the most sense because... Um, this thing is no longer going to be able to do anything against the rest of uh, his team because of the... Go straight up for a moon blast. Because, um, especially in rain, py uh, Pyro Ball is not going to do much of anything. And, that's a sp special attack trap. Um, and, uh, against the Arcanine and the Dreadnought, Pyro Ball is not going to do much of anything. So, my best utility for this thing is to, um, click Iron Head a few times and try to weaken this Clefable, uh, to... Uh, if anything, it would open the door up. F f first of all, it burns Tailwind turns, and it opens the door for my for my Togekiss later in the match. So that helps. I think he expected me to want to go into Duraludon in that situation. Um, and obviously, a flinch would be wonderful here, but um, goes for the Cosmic Power. Um, regardless, I think just weakening this thing is optimal. I wish I could switch up moves and click a uh, U-turn here, but. I can't, so it's going to be moot no matter what happens. Tailwind Peter's out, which is pretty huge for me. 
could just go into Arcanine, which is going to be bad for me. But you know what? I think I think I have to trust in Quagsire to kind of help me out here. Also, no, never mind. I think I just have to trust in Quagsire to kind of do this for me here. Because... It deals with the Dreadnought. It deals with the Arcanine. So I don't think either of them will ever just beat me. But I still have to... Okay, Cinderace gets it. That's pretty huge. That, that I think, was a huge, huge roll. Because I... Um, judging based off the, the the initial damage and the cosmic power and the leftovers, that seemed like a roll to me. But I'm not too, too sure. I'm going to have to check on that uh, probably later. But... Let's see here. Probably, I mean, probably wants to go into Dreadnought. Dreadnought is still a huge, huge problem for me, especially since um, it appears that, that that Pelipper was was Damp Rock. This could be the final turn, but um, Damp Rock makes a whole lot of sense to me here. So I, I think I have to assume um, Damp Rock here. And if that's the case, if it is Damp Rock, then. Well, if it is damp rock, then I can then I have then I can sack things off, wait out the rain, and uh, Rotom can come in, click Leaf Storm, and hopefully s attempt to start to close this out. Now I'm going to see. Yeah, rain has two more turns left, and it is confirmed damp rock. So what does that mean that I do here? What does that mean that I do here? I mean, I, I kind of want to sack off Duraludon here. Kind of want to sack off Duraludon here. Because it can probably take a water move, and then on the next turn, it would... It would wait out the rain, and then I can start to... Make things happen. Although, if the, if, if it's a fast red and all, then... Then Rotom is too weak to, to deal with it. Swords Dance. Okay. Okay. Now we're in super problematic territory. Um, actually, no, 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 no. I can't. I have to. Hmm. Yeah, I might just sack this thing off. I should. I should have attacked. I should have at least gotten some some kind of shoot damage off, but I didn't. So. Um, Duraludon against Dreadnought. Goes for the EQ. Uh, Thunderbolt gets close to, to KOing a no bulk Dreadnought. So I would be curious to see what those, um, counts look like in general. But regardless, I think what Duraludon. Uh, Duraludon is going to allow me to. Net a KO with my Togekiss, and then, and then Quagsire deals with Arcanine. I think that's how this works. Um, it, it looks like if it's a complete Noble Dreadnought, then I have a thirty a thirty percent chance to to straight up KO with Thunderbolt. But yeah, okay. It seems like it has a, um, a, s some kind of uh, investment, but I don't think it can do anything against my... against Togekiss just clicking Dazzling Gleam. Unless he wants to switch around, which would be really pretty bad. Um... But yeah, I, I, I can actually click Aura Sphere here, which would be ideal to hit the Dreadnought and the Arcanine. Um, but if the Arcanine does come in, then it would be super bad just because... Just because uh, the Arcanine can threaten me with with, with extreme speed, and... I, I would have to figure... Something. At that point, I would, I'd probably just hard switch out into... Into... I'd probably just hard switch out into... Quagsire, but I believe Arcanine should be the last Mon standing, and I believe that should mean that 
Uh, Quagsire wouldn't be ones it, I think. I mean, worst case scenario, Bandit Arcanine, I guess. Uh, it's the default set's Life Orb, but if it is a super offensive Arcanine. Then Scald should be a 2KO. Scald should be a 2KO, and I don't see any type of move. Let's give this thing extreme speed. Let, let's, let's give this thing ban banded extreme speed. Choice band. Extreme speed. Adamant. Adamant Band Extreme Speed. Uh, looks like it would be about a four hit KO. Thirty four percent chance to, to to four hit KO. So I think we can just scald a few times, and I really and and I honestly really want to gauge damage on this scald as well. Goes for the close combat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think that's going to be a win, and I think that is, um, pretty, oh, oh, and it's going to drop its defenses, so, yeah, okay, okay, that's, that's about in line with, with no bulk-ish, Pro it probably has, probably has, um, some type of bulk, but, this was a very, sorry, this was a very, very stressful match, um, I could have gotten, I mean, I definitely could have gotten 6 0 by, by, uh, Como, -o. like most sets other than than Scarfed, Togekiss would have gotten 6 0'd. And Poltegeist. Man, Poltegeist uh could have be could have beaten me on its own as well. But that's gonna be week six. We take the win. Uh that's gonna move us up to four and two. And like I said, um we are pretty much in a have to win out situation. Uh or as close to it as it looks like we can be. And I believe our final week should be against Skyrander, and again, that is going to be an absolute must win, I believe. Um, but yeah, that's going to be our week. It was incredibly stressful, like I said. I cannot overstate just how many setup threats he had, and the extent to which any of those could have beaten me if I didn't play it the way that I did. And especially when my Rotom got critted and could not take hits as well as I would hoped it would, but... That's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the UBL. We'll be closing out the season as well as uh, the AP Academy. And uh, we took over a team in the NCP Nimbus Wi-Fi division. So uh, there will be uploads for that coming really, really soon. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching once again. And I'll be once again out.